We do like the new music. It's grown on us. It, we were just saying. it took a second. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. And some of you at home probably said, what the heck is this? <laughs> Our it's first new. Thing. Right. When you get used to something, you know, a lot of people don't like change, but don't get, I do don't get like used. it. We're not going to be doing the same stuff all the time. Uh, this weekend, Jesse Norman Amphitheater, present, uh, School of the Arts, rather, is uh, presenting their spring showcase, Under the Sea and the Little Mermaid Junior, all done by the students there. Executive Director Gary Dennis joins us this morning with more info on this weekend and the upcoming 20th anniversary of the Jesse Norman School yes, of the congratulations. Arts. Congratulations. That's a big deal. Gary, good to see you. Thanks for joining good us. Good to see again. you. Thanks for having us. Uh, yeah. Before we get to everything that's happening this weekend, give us a little background on the School of the Arts. Well, it started um, because of the lack of um, uh, art programming in Richmond County Schools back in 2001 when our founders were looking at the school. Um, at that time, there were only two full-time teachers in the district serving 35,000 students. Um, so there was a need. Um, and, yeah, uh, you think. <laughs> yeah. So um, our founding board members stepped in and um, asked Ms. Norman if she would lend her name and her efforts to uh, create a program. She did. She raised the first, uh, with her friends, raised the first initial $50,000 to start the program and um, set the ball rolling. And she set some of the standards for us and she always, you know, always pushed excellence and striving for excellence and I think it's really set some, um, some standards for the way that we operate. And here you are going on the 20th anniversary. You yeah. guys do a lot for the community. You do have something coming up this weekend. What yeah. can audience goers expect? Um, to be blown away, uh, I think it's going to be our best uh, musical production ever. Um, Lion King was the bar before this one, um, but uh, um, Little Mermaid, I think, will surpass it. I was talking with the kids yesterday. They've got four shows lined up, which is that's very ambitious. I think it's the most we've ever done. So we'll have a show uh, open on Friday, Saturday, um, two shows two shows on Saturday, a one o'clock and a 3.30, and then um, a, an encore Mother's Day performance on the 14th. There you go, and look at the costumes that uh, the students that? are making. Yeah. yeah. This is all student done. <laughs> all student done, wow. yeah. yeah. Now, not only do you have that, you have the Under the Sea exhibit as well. Yeah, so it starts with a gallery um, exhibit and reception. Um, so the kids have worked all semester long to put together um, a beautiful gallery installation. I mean, it's really magical. Um, you walk in, you feel like you're under the sea. There are uh, um, uh, blue material across the ceiling uh, with um, you know shadows of sharks and stingrays um, running by. And I think um, anybody who comes will have have a great experience. Wow. That's oh, really I love well seeing the all these yeah. photos too. Very creative, very creative. Yeah. So certainly the students are busy throughout the school year, but mm -hmm. it doesn't stop there. You nope. guys are busy we in the summer. We go right through you summer, camps, yep. Yep. Uh, Lots of camps. We'll um, serve about 200 students over the summer just at our main campus. And then we have um, uh, summer camps operating in uh, other locations. So we'll be at Bethel Covenant Worship Center right outside of Gate 1 um, to serve the Fort Gordon community. We'll be at uh, May Park, the North Augusta Arts and Cultural Heritage Center. We're um, helping them out with their camp um, all over the place. Yeah, check out the website, thejnsa.org, for all the locations, times, ages. Uh, most of them are free. I think um, only the North Augusta camp has a, a small fee attached to it. Okay. And uh, that all leads up to the fall, and that's the major milestone yeah. here at the school. 20, 20 years, years we're celebrating. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, happy years. birthday. You're almost legal. Yeah, so, right. <laughs> uh, what's, what's happening in October? Um, big annual benefit concert. Um, Opera is in our uh, DNA, so uh, we'll be hosting Lemmy Pulliam, a nationally recognized tenor, and um, Asliff Wilmer, uh, and Veronica Williams. Um, and our fourth performer hasn't been uh, c contracted yet, so I'm not going to say that name yet. Okay. Uh, but as soon as we have that one, we'll have four um, opera stars um, performing at the Maxwell Performing Arts Theater on October 8th. And you can buy tickets online right now. Oh, wow. BJNSA.org. Yeah. Exactly. And we do have that information right there. Before we let you go, we yeah. want to recap the details for this weekend the win and the where. Okay, so the win is um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, two shows on Saturday, uh, 1 o'clock and 3.30. Um, the other shows, I think, start at 6 or 6.30 um, uh, for both the Friday and the Sunday show. 
Um, and it'll be a re gallery reception and then the show. All right, JNSA.org, Jesse Norman School for the Arts. Uh, thank you so much, Gary Dennis, for joining us here. Thank you. Appreciate it.